Normally I start these videos with, are you tired of this happening? But I didn't realize how dumb the Stego AI is. My idea was to have the Stego launch me off a cliff into the rocks below and be eaten by the Spino that's down there. But the Stego can't hit anything directly in front of it, and the AI doesn't seem to know that it's not hitting me. Well, with that little rant out of the way, are you tired of this happening while taming a Stegosaurus? My name's Stekorsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a Stegosaurus, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tame Stegosaurus. First off, let's prepare. The food you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Regular kibble, crops, mijo berries, all other berries. I'd recommend using regular kibble. All the other food types take the same amount of time with varying quantities. You'll need around 50 narcotics per hour during the tame. At a default taming rate, a level 30 can take between 12 minutes and an hour. A level 60 can take between 20 minutes and an hour and a half. A level 120 can take between half an hour and two and a half hours. And a level 150 can take between 40 minutes and three and a half hours. These times are the difference between the kibble and everything else. The recipe for regular kibble is one medium egg, two long grass, two savor root, one cooked meat jerky, five fiber, and one water. Stegos have an armored tail and back, which drastically decreases the amount of damage they take in those areas. They also take increased damage from headshots, so you'll want to aim there as much as possible. I'd recommend you use a crossbow with trank arrows. While other tools may work to knock out a stego, especially lower level ones, the crossbow is going to give you the best chance for success. Like many other herbivores, stegos are a herding animal and will tend to stay in groups of two to three, sometimes more. But it's not uncommon to find one alone. They are often a target for predators, even small ones like raptors and dilos will attack them. Also, like many other herbivores, the entire group of stegos will attack if one of their members is injured. On top of this, stegos have a large knockback with their tail swipe. Luckily, they're slow enough to be easily outrun with some stat points into speed. If you're not fast enough, you could use a mount that you can use weapons while riding, such as a raptor or an equus. Stegos can also be immobilized by large bear traps. The Ingram for these comes at a higher level than the Stego Saddle Ingram, so it's debatable whether it's worth the weight or not. However, if you already have access to large bear traps, it's worth it to use them to slow the Stego down. If you want to completely immobilize the Stego, you'll need to make a trap. I would normally recommend to use metal billboards in conjunction with a large bear trap, However, metal billboards come at a much later level than both the Stego Saddle and Large Bear Trap, so I don't feel like it's a good recommendation. In that same vein, I wouldn't recommend using wooden billboards either since Stegos make short work of wooden structures. If they actually decide to attack them, that is. With all the things I'm not going to recommend out of the way, you can make a 2x2 two two stone box with a ramp up one side to trap a stego. If you're going to attempt knocking out multiple stegos, you may want to make a 3x3 three three box instead.
Once the stego is inside, knock it out at your leisure. If your settings allow for it, you can pick up a stego with a wyvern or quetzal and take it back to a pre-built taming pen. Whichever way you decide to use, pelt the stegosaurus with trank ammo until it's unconscious. Put your food of choice and narcotics in its inventory and maintain its topor so it doesn't wake up until it's tamed. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. The Sego Salalingram can be learned at level 26 and can be crafted in your inventory with hide, fiber, and wood. Their primary attack is a tail swing in the direction you're looking. Their secondary attack impales creatures, which causes a bleed-like effect while the stego is latched. This also immobilizes the creature the stego impaled. This can be combined with the ability to use weapons while riding the stego to deal extra damage with your own weapons. Stegos have a backplate buff, which changes after each time you use the crouch button. There's a slight cooldown, which is shown by the stego doing a little wiggle when it's ready to change. The three different backplates are Heavy Plate, which applies a slow debuff to enemies hit with the primary attack and increases thatch harvesting. Sharpen Plate, which gives the primary attack armor penetration and increases berry harvesting. Harden Plate, which gives the Stego damage reduction and increases wood harvesting. As a side note, if you're using the wrong mode while gathering, the yield is drastically decreased. Stegos have a 75% weight reduction on berries. You can make regular kibble with stego eggs along with 2 long grass, 2 savor root, 1 cooked meat jerky, 5 fiber, and 1 water. There's a bionic costume for the stego which is currently only available to console players who purchased the retail version of ARK. There's a bone costume that was originally dropped by skeletal stegos during the Fear Evolved events and was later craftable during the Archaeology event. It's now obtainable with the Beginner's Explorer achievement and will appear in your inventory each time you respawn. The Beginner's Explorer achievement is obtained after collecting 10% of the Explorer notes.
There is a skeletal form of the Stega which appears during the Fear Evolve events. This variant acts as an Alpha, which means it's more powerful than regular Stegos and cannot be tamed. As I mentioned earlier, the Skeletal Stegos drop bone costumes on death. There's an aberrant form of the Stego which first appeared on the Aberration map. There's a tech form of the Stego which was permanently added during the Extinction Chronicles event. There's a corrupted form of the Stego which first appeared on the Extinction map. These Stegos are aggressive and cannot be tamed. There's a malfunction tech form of the Stego which first appeared on the Genesis Part 1 map. These Stegos are aggressive and cannot be tamed. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day. Smokey, wait, give me that. How did you even know where it was? I hid it. Are you done blocking my computer screen or do you want this? He's gonna end up fighting me on accident. <laughs> or on purpose. <laughs> Hello. She's not trying to take it away from me. Oh, you're convinced that. Okay. Okay, she's done. Good. No, wait, no, not done yet. Smokey, are you looking for the hair tie that's in my hand? Is this what you're looking for? Hair ties are forbidden toys. Mochi, don't you get started too. She's out of my way now, silly cat.